congratulations on your purchase of your new Lord's Hydrofix Premium Edition. In this video, we will cover how to set up your new Lord's Hydrofix. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for additional instructional videos. These videos are filled with helpful tips of how to better care for your premium hydrogen machine so that it will last for many years to come. To get started, let's take everything out of the box. Included in the box is the main unit, your inhalation kit's lid and cannula, the white hydrogen keeper, measuring cup, cartridge, and your power cord. Also as a reminder, each unit comes with a manual, certificate of authenticity and testing, and finally, your warranty card. In addition to the physical manual, please look for a digital user's manual through email, which you can print in the convenience of your own home or you can scan the QR code in the included insert. Next, decide where to set up your Lord's Hydrofix. As an option, we recommend setting up the device where you can sit comfortably nearby during inhalation therapy. The device should be set up on a stable, dry surface with enough overhead clearance to easily remove the pitcher. Important tips when choosing a location. Please avoid the following areas. Areas with direct sunlight, high heat, an open flame, or high humidity of 80% or higher. And please use special caution in households where children and pets are present. Before we move forward and add any water, make sure the drainage plug in the back of the device is in all the way before filling the reservoir tank with water. We suggest you keep the tape covering the plug at all times. Use only the universal AC-DC adapter socket type A that came with your device. The adapter provided with the Hydrofix Premium Edition is specifically designed to withstand a wide range of voltage fluctuation. The Hydrofix Premium Edition is the only international model available and can be used worldwide. Additionally, a plug adapter may be required to fit the power outlet type in your country. Do not use an electric voltage converter or transformer. Next, let's wash the pitcher and H2 keeper. First, remove the pitcher from the base unit by lifting straight up. To open the lid, give a slight twist and remove it. Then rinse the pitcher and the hydrogen keeper with a soft cloth or sponge. Use room temperature water. Do not use hot water, soap, detergent, chlorine, vinegar, or other abrasive cleaners. Do not use rough scrubbers or brushes. Do not touch or scratch the electrode plate. Do not wash it in the dishwasher. Do not wash the base unit because it is not waterproof. Wiping is all that is required when cleaning the base unit. Next, fill the pitcher with drinking water to either of the fill lines. Add between 500 milliliters or the recommended 1.5 liters of drinking water to the pitcher. Drinking water can be tap water, well water, filtered water, mineral water, spring water, kangen water, alkaline water, reverse osmosis, or distilled water can be used. Do not use any liquid other than water and do not use water unsuitable for consumption such as dirty or contaminated water. Do not use salt water or sea water. The water temperature should be between 5 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not use hot water. The type of water used in the pitcher will not affect the hydrogen level produced. However, the use of some types of water, such as alkaline water, kangen water, water containing high amounts of calcium or silica and iron, may necessitate the need for more frequent maintenance and cleaning. For drinking, first insert the white hydrogen keeper on top of your water, making sure it floats in a flat manner. If it ever tilts inside, simply remove the lid and set it flat again. Next, let's set the included cartridge. Remove the plastic wrapper and we're ready to begin. Place the cartridge under room temperature running water and shake it lightly for a few seconds to help the contents settle. Check to see if water is draining through the cartridge. If the cartridge is still clogged, tap the side or the bottom of the cartridge and shake it to remove any clumps formed inside of the cartridge. Water that runs through the cartridge into the pitcher tray may be light red or brown when the cartridge is new or has dried out. This color is completely normal. The discoloration is caused by deposits from the cartridge and is a normal occurrence, and it will turn clear after a few uses. 
Water in the pitcher tray is only used for the electrolysis process and does not affect the quality and hygiene of the water inside the pitcher. Set the cartridge back into the reservoir tank. Next, using the included measuring cup, carefully pour 100 milliliters or 100 cc's of room temperature drinking water directly into the cartridge inside the reservoir tank. Try to keep the base unit dry by using a funnel if needed. If any water spills on the base unit, promptly wipe it off. Do not overfill the cartridge and do not add water directly to the pitcher tray. The water you add to the cartridge will run through the cartridge and fill the pitcher tray in a few seconds. Next, replace the pitcher by carefully lining up the placement guides of the pitcher and the pitcher tray and set the pitcher onto the tray straight down. Then, plug in your Lord's Hydrofix and you will see the glowing blue power button lit. Once the tray has the proper amount of water, the orange water shortage indicator light on the front of the base unit will turn off. Your Hydrofix Premium Edition is now ready to make hydrogen water. Make sure the orange water shortage indicator light on the base unit is off and the blue light on the power button is lit. The device will not operate when the water shortage indicator is still on. Press the power button once. You will hear a beep and the countdown timer will show 30, indicating that the 30 minute mode has started. For the first few uses, press the power button again to run a 90 minute mode. This will speed up the preparation process of the membrane. When in the 90 minute mode, 90 will appear on the countdown timer and you will see a small amount of mist like hydrogen gas and some bubbles rising into the pitcher. Once the membrane has been prepared, the water will be fully saturated in 30 minutes. Remember, running the 90 minute mode will not increase the level of hydrogen in the water. After the membrane is prepared, the 90 minute mode is used only for a 90 minute inhalation session. When your device is new, or if it hasn't been used for a while, the membrane will be dry and will produce a slightly lower amount of hydrogen. The hydrogen production will continue to increase with use and will reach full production after a few uses. Using the power button to switch between the 30 minute mode, 90 minute mode, lights off mode, and to turn off the device. 30 minute mode. To enter the 30 minute mode, press the power button once. You will hear a beep, the timer will show 30, and the hydrogen concentration bar will blink to indicate the approximate hydrogen level during the production mode. The water will be fully saturated with hydrogen when the timer displays 00, zero and you hear the beeps. Use the 30 minute mode to make a full pitcher or 1.5 liters of hydrogen water or to inhale hydrogen gas for 30 minutes. For inhalation, you must first remove the floating hydrogen keeper from the pitcher. Then, simply replace the pouring lid with the inhalation lid and cannula. To enter the 90 minute mode, press the power button twice. You will hear a beep, the timer will show 90, and the hydrogen concentration bar will blink to indicate the approximate hydrogen level during the production mode. The water will be fully saturated with hydrogen when the timer displays 00, zero and you hear the beeps. Turning off the pitcher illumination lights. To turn off the illumination lights, press and hold the power button during any production mode. When turning the lights off, three beeps will sound and the power button, hydrogen concentration bar, and pitcher illumination lights will all be turned off. As a reminder, standby mode does not produce enough hydrogen gas for inhalation. When inhaling hydrogen gas, and in order to receive the proper amount of hydrogen, you must reset the counter to 30 or 90 minutes once it reaches zero, zero. Standby mode will continue for up to 12 hours or until the water shortage indicator light turns on. How to turn off the device. To turn off the device, you must press and hold the power button twice. The first time you press and hold the power button, the illumination lights will turn off. Press and hold the power button again to turn off the device. Three beeps will sound and only the power button will remain lit. At this point, the device has been turned off and hydrogen production will stop. For storage or non-use for a period of time, please unplug the unit first. Then remove the pitcher by carefully lifting it straight up and carefully bring the unit to the sink, carrying it flat, and undo the side plug. Hopefully you've kept the tape. Do not tip the machine at any time to drain it, or otherwise it can damage the machine. Simply let gravity do its work, and then towel dry any remaining water. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy your new Lord's Hydrofix Premium Edition. And don't forget that we have other instructional videos on our YouTube channel, including storage, 
draining, and cleaning that will teach you how to care and maintain your machine so that it will last for many years to come. Welcome to Holy Hydrogen.